Hey there, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Giggs here, and today's message, stop trying to get over. Stop trying to get over. Have you ever been out to lunch, dinner, or just having a drink, and the person you're with left you with the bill? Have you had that happen to you? Have you met people who are always trying to get over on others? I pray to God that's not you. Not long ago, I was invited to a nightclub with some friends of mine, and the cost was $150 a head. When I arrived, I went up to the person in charge of the money, and when I went to give him the money, he said, don't worry, Giggs, I got you covered. Now, I insisted to give him the money, but he insisted that I not. And so I said, thank you. Now, in that moment, I felt real good. Well, my wallet felt real good. Anyway, I thought about that moment and my whole life has I have always made sure that I have paid my share or more. I never want to get over on anyone. So not long after this incident, I found an opportunity to repay this person for their generosity. By the way, it was Simon Arias who covered my bill and my fiance's, I might add. But later in that month, Simon was in my home and he saw a pair of very expensive sunglasses that I had. He put them on, he fell in love with them. I said, they look good on you. He said, yeah, I like them. I said, good, keep them. He said, no, no, no. I said, yeah, keep them. What did I do? I gave them to him. Why? One, I love him. Two, because he took care of me. So this was my way of taking care of him. Too many people today, folks, look at people who have money and think, oh, he's got plenty of money, and they justify getting over or having them pick up the check. Some people, less if you have money or not, whether you have money or not, they try to get over on you. They just simply have this habit of trying to get something for nothing. I would say, that there is nothing in life I personally dislike more when I feel that someone is trying to get over on me. How about you? Of course you don't. So folks, let's all make sure that we never try to get over on anyone, no matter how rich they are, and instead bring something to that person, especially those with money. By the way, Rich people love when you do something for them, more than anyone, because very few people do anything for people with money. So when you visit someone, always have something to give, a smile, a small gift. The other day I visited my web developer and his wife down there in Miami and their new bundle of joy, Georgia, Mo and Emily is the, 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 the husband and wife. It was early one morning and there was no way I was gonna show up empty handed. So I went to Emily's favorite bakery and brought them all kinds of goodies. And together, we all shared. As we were visiting, Emily, who by the way, is an amazing bathing suit designer, lilybon.com, L-I-L-I-B-O-N.com. Amazing bathing suits. She was showing my fiance her newest line. And after trying on a few of these bathing suits, my fiance got excited, so I decided to buy two of them. But little did I know that Emily reduced the amounts dramatically and gave me in another bathing suit, a third one, at no cost. I believe that this happens when we are the opposite of those who try to get something for nothing. When we come bearing gifts and give good cheer, then the windows of heaven will open up and we will live an amazing life. So stop trying to get over and start giving and you will for sure live your best life. Thanks for joining me, gang. We'll see you tomorrow in the locker room. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not share it with a friend by sending them the daily message?